Hi and welcome to the Studio Macro Primo. Today we're going to talk about how to choose our gear wisely and uh, talking about uh, clones and fake gear. So let's dive in. With the period of Black Friday and other seasonal specials and low prices, um, I did order one more Shure SM57 microphone. Uh, of course, I already have two, and I bought one clone. We're going to discuss about that as well. And uh, while opening the box and everything, I did uh, film it, so I'm going to show you the uh, open box uh, video as well. And I was wondering, well, should I wonder if it's a clone or if it's a fake microphone? Uh, because it was very low price compared to the market. So let's go with the open box and I'm going to comment over it as well. So they did put a box in a box, so it seems to be well protected and even with uh, plastic wrap, so the box, the original box isn't scratched, I guess this is the goal. So sure itself uh, did put the microphone into a bubble wrap and you get a velcro to use with your wires. At the bottom of the box we see a um, sleeve to put the mic in and the mic clip and instructions. The packaging seems to be well done. I'm trying to observe the microphone and see if there's something that is not supposed to be like this. When you unscrew it and check inside, we will see the transformer. Um, in the fake one that I've received, it wasn't a transformer. It was just a condenser part. And you see the treads uh, where you screw in, they don't have paint on it. This is another sign that this is a genuine mic. So I'm comparing uh, the new mic with an old one that I have. It's over 20 years old. Uh, the font is a bit smaller on the new one, so that's something that you need to be careful about. In the past, it was a sign that it might be a copy. At least the shape of the font is accurate. So I'm going to continue my comparison. Another thing that uh, those mic does is that the end of the mic turns, and the new one also turns. It's a bit harder to turn but it moves so that's a good sign test we're testing two sm57 one two one two testing sm57 One two 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 
one two one two one two one two one two one two one two one two I know that everyone wants to save a bit of money when buying gear, and that's why so many uh, receive fake uh, units when they buy very cheap. Of course, one common place that you can buy cheap gear is uh, Wish, and also some Japan and uh, Chinese sites that I won't name here. A lot of that gear is okay and is uh, genuine, but of course, if you're buying a, an SM57 at $25, you can bet that it is a fake. Um, but there is some official copying companies and some clones that are okay and will sound good to your in your studio. Back in the day when Behringer opened and started to sell gear, they were known to clone other and make copies of other gear that exist. Uh, a lot of their mixer were copy of Mackie mixers. Um, and most of the, those gear were, were copy. After a few, I, I think it may have taken a decade uh, before they started to make their own designs and have a research team that will create new circuit and new gear that were genuine to them. Today, that company uh, sells good gear, namely their uh, digital mixer is very good and other stuff as well. But they still carry those cheap units that are clones of others. Um, if you buy, let's say, a EQ, uh, you don't expect much of it, those physical EQ. Uh, 31 band for live shows and uh, stuff like that. Usually they are very noisy. Not that they don't sound good, but they, they are noisy. So if you amplify this signal by, uh, I don't know, 2000 watts for a, a live venue and there's a big hiss, it's not very fun to use. So that's that. And there's other companies that will uh, recreate um, some gear that was done maybe in the 70s or in the 60s that are now very, very, very expensive. Um, let's think about uh, Universal Audio, uh, those uh, classic compressor, uh, LA-2A and stuff like that. Nowadays, uh, you will get a company like Warm Audio that will do um, copies or inspired design from and get good result, and the sound is good as well. But it's very difficult to draw the line where a copy or a clone goes in the fake category because it's not a valid uh, design. If you want to know more about uh, fakes, um, I did a video about a fake SM57, link just here, uh, if you want to listen to it as well. And there, there are many instances that uh, you can buy cheap stuff that won't sound good. Another thing that I bought that I regret, and I, I did sell and lost a lot of money, uh, were the UK Sound 1173. They claimed it was a 1073 preamp with uh, the design of the compressor of an 1176. But... Another video right here if you want to listen to why I sold them. So, I just want to tell you, be careful um, and don't buy from any places before knowing if it, it is genuine uh, gear. And, of course, if you have uh, a way to return the unit if it's not to your liking. So, the SM57 that I bought was on Amazon and it's very easy to return. I waited for it for uh, more than a month. It was coming from China. So that's why I feared it could be uh, fake. And that's why this video exists today. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button. Consider subscribing. Hit the bell to get notifications. Put questions and comments and suggestions for new videos in the comments. 
And if you want, go in the description of this video and click on the merch link. There's a few things uh, to buy if you want to help the channel. And of course, share my videos. It's always a great help.